Here's a little uh, rudder tutorial for the uh, Alcourt Sailfish and Sunfish series. The uh, Sailfish came out in 1945 and in the early 50s. It had a very different types of rudders uh, starting off and then around 1953 or so they applied for patent for the rudder releasing mechanism. And that's uh, part of this uh, contraption right here. You see a little uh, vertical plate clipped into the uh, shorter transom on the wooden boats and then later on the fiberglass sailfish which is the super sailfish mark ii and the early rudder design was what we are calling the elephant ear uh, i think as they came into the fiberglass boats with the deeper keels and then just by using this other rudder a little bit they found out they needed a little bitter uh, bitter how about bigger blade and I'm calling this one the spoon tip. But the fiberglass boats had a, a taller transom, so the vertical plates about uh, seven inches on it, and that clips into the uh, horizontal latch plate, which runs across the top of the boat, and then, I'm sorry, horizontal hinge plate, top of the boat, where the hinge and the rudder pin goes. And then a latch plate on the bottom, when you hit an obstacle, it's a little uh, detent in the latch plate, lets that with the spring tension lets this bottom part pop out and swing away. So that's all part of their rudder releasing mechanism that got a patent in 1953. Then around 1970-ish or so, they were having problems with the rudder head splitting, so they came up with this uh, reinforced rudder head, and we see the introduction of the newer shape of the blade, which is pretty much the shape of the blade that's uh, on there now. So that bronze hardware went away and now you've got the hardware that's got aluminum or a plastic rudder cheek with the springs on it with the spring up rudder, also called the new style rudder. It's been new style since 1972, so what, 47 years? And uh, now the blades are made out of uh, plastic. So if you have a older wooden sunfish, or a wooden sailfish, such as these two here, there's the wooden sunfish. Zip, back up a little bit. And here's the 12 foot sailfish, also known as the standard sailfish. Here's another wooden sunfish we're working on. Here's Chip. Getting a new paint. You notice that that transom's not very tall. It's about three inches or so. So if you're looking for a rudder for an old style wooden boat or the fiberglass sailfish, then you need to get one that has the uh, shorter vertical plate on it. And by shorter vertical plate, I'm talking about this piece right here. So that when you clip it on, it uh, clips in like that. And away you go. Not sure if I can do this uh, one-handed or not. We'll give it a shot. Latch plate. I'm talking about this little part here where the vertical hinge plate nestles down into that spot. You may have to release spring tension to get that to go in. And then you can adjust this nut. There's a little spring plate here to get everything to line up. So. One tip about these rudders is they have this uh, very expensive rudder pin in the original boats their chain goes onto the deck. You go down the highway, chain breaks, pin falls off. So what we recommend doing is, like we did here, 
hooking the chain to the uh, rudder. That way the rudder and the pin all stay together. Talked about some dagger board differences the other day. This is the spoon tip dagger board that went with the 1960s boats up till about 1972. It's longer than what would have come with this sailfish or this sunfish. It's about 39 inches, the uh, standard sailfish, super sailfish, and wooden sunfish boards, only really about 39. Once again, we found that's not quite enough uh, dagger board. So we've upgraded uh, Winnie with a uh, dagger board that came off a of 1965 sunfish. And, Helps her tack a little better. We still uh, sail her with the uh, little elephant ear rudder. She does okay. We go out mainly in light winds. But uh, we also have this uh, larger rudder blade, the spoon tip, with the shorter vertical plate. That fits on a zip and works pretty good. Now on zip, we've gone from the shorter dagger board to a, a Barrington board, which is about 39 inches also. And uh, so that's an upgrade of uh, two generations on its board, but that makes them sail nice. We go out and have some fun. Not much sailing today, 90 degrees, no wind. So we've kind of stayed in the shade and worked on putting the second coat of Total Boat Topside Primer onto Chip, a 1965 wooden sunfish, and then the first coat of the uh, Sapphire Blue, I think it is, on there. It's pretty blue, it looks almost dark. So we've got Two coats on this side and first coat on the other side, which is the port side. And run down the keel and lay her out on the stern there. This is the uh, paint scheme that was on the uh, first sailfish that came out and featured in the 1945 Life magazine article. Yep, so let's see, what is it? It's called Flag Blue. We used, when you tried this enamel today, semi gloss soap and water cleanup. I guess I can go clean that brush then. And the thing I like about these pouches is you just kind of squeeze it and mix it in the pouch. It's got a little cap. Pour out what you need, squeeze out in the air, seal it up, and you're not messing with the. Uh, paint cans and paint dripping everywhere so that's what's been happening today we hope y'all are having a great weekend